Having a baby is an experience which should be rooted in love, supported by a strong husband, sustaining a wife who flowers beautifully in childbirth for the joy of it. This is a film about birth, not delivery in the medical sense, but husband-coached natural childbirth. Natural childbirth was introduced in the 1930s by Dr. Grantley Dick Reed and was perfected by Dr. Robert Bradley, who added the most important element, a loving husband as an active, participating labor coach. It, we don't use the term delivery except in the complications which must be delivered by the doctor, but in the presence of normality, our mothers and fathers know how to conduct themselves as a team so that they give birth to a baby without medication. And like every other animal that gives birth, they're perfectly capable of eating and walking immediately after the baby is born. The mother breastfeeds the baby, drinks orange juice, and walks down the hall with the baby in her arms within a matter of minutes from the time of its birth like other species of animals. This couple is preparing for husband coach childbirth by attending classes, seeing this movie, and reading this book by Dr. Bradley. We will not try to show specific exercises in this film, as new techniques evolve constantly, and classes taught by experienced mothers are available almost everywhere. Almost every woman can be taught to give birth successfully, and since the first birth is usually the hardest, all the births you will see are first babies. None of these mothers had or wanted any medication, not even aspirin. The art of giving birth has gradually declined to where very few people, even doctors, have ever seen a normal woman give birth to a baby naturally. So we would like to show you not one, but five natural births. Real people, each reacting differently, but each experiencing the joy of childbirth. Here are Maxine and Frank Kant during first stage labor. We feel that a trained husband can do more for the comfort and relaxation of his wife than any amount of medication. Soon she will go into second stage where she will help the uterus by pushing with her contractions. Maxine is now being wheeled into the delivery room for second stage. Her husband, dressed in a scrub suit, stays with her and continues to coach her. As with most intense physical work, the effort shows on her face as it gets red. Dr. Jack Galloway prepares to assist in the birth. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
We have all mothers breastfeed their babies on the delivery table. This provides colostrum for the baby, contracts the uterus, and detaches the placenta naturally. Within a half hour, Maxine is sitting up on the delivery table, sharing a glass of orange juice with her husband, which is offered by Dr. Galloway in the true spirit of a birthday party. Most of our mothers get up and walk out of the delivery room. This restores the normal circulation to the pelvic area. As the baby is being handed to the nursery room nurse, our parents cannot help but brag a little. Many of our new mothers choose to stay in the hospital a very short time. Generally, they go home within 12 hours. This is Sharon Sample, and the man at the head of the table is her husband, Roger. Roger helps Sharon by lifting her up and timing the contractions. expression of work on Sharon's face as she works with a contraction and the pure joy between contractions as she looks into the mirror over the delivery table and sees the baby's progress. Yeah. 
Sharon and Roger were one of our first couples, and we forgot the orange juice in the delivery room, so they had to drink it in the hall. Here in transition, Pam Burke really appreciates husband coach childbirth as her husband rubs her back and coaches her through contractions. Elliot Handy. Ray came to the hospital with contractions every two minutes, four centimeters dilated. Her biggest problem in first stage was giggling. She then took a nap and when she woke up she was in hard labor. Here we see her in transition. Ray had been given permission to push, and it was during this contraction she felt the urge.
As Paula Hart is being wheeled into the delivery room, she has a second stage contraction. Richard is at her side, helping. the nurses put gloves on Paula's hands for this birth, although we have since learned skin-to-skin -skin contact is much better.
coming out. He was so, so funny looking and gray. Did you get it? He is beautiful Not now. Let's get my damn little color. Oh, it's so amazing. Huh?